Well, howdy there, Internet students. This is Mr. Hermson again. Hey, we're going to do two lessons in one here. We're going to do 10.2D uh, and 10.2E. They're kind of short, so uh, so we'll do them out two at once. And uh, um, just a couple of things, and we've covered a little bit of this already. But um, if you have an equation with parentheses, um, sometimes you need to remove um, first with the distributive property. It never hurts to do that. Um, but if you have variables on both sides, like number two here, then for sure you're going to want to rewrite this. So you're going to write, you're going to want to multiply negative four times each of these things. So you get negative 12x plus 40 equals negative 2x. Okay, and then you're going to continue by adding I think adding 12x, get rid of this negative 12x over here, is a better way to go. Okay, to balance that. There's my line. Um, and then on this side we have 40, on this side we have 10x. Now it's pretty easy to tell that the answer is 4, right? Because 10 times 4 is 40. All right, so that was really important that we got rid of the variables there first. All right. And this one here, it's your choice. Um, if you want to get rid of the parentheses, you can. Um, you could also backtrack. You just have to make sure you do it in the right order. You may want to make a diagram. Um, and the reason I say you can do that is because there is only x in one spot here. So, um, so if you made a diagram, you would be taking x. You would multiply that by 2. And then you would add 1. Multiply by 3, and that would get you 42. So you can backtrack, divide by 3, uh, subtract 1, that would give you 14. Subtract 1 would give you 13. Divide by 2 would give you 6.5 for x. Okay? I'm um, just showing you that it'll work that way. Um, you could also uh, get rid of the parentheses. Uh, so you would multiply this out and you would 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3. Um, if you do it that way then there's less to backtrack. I'm going to take a shortcut here. To get x you would do 42 minus 3 if you're backtracking and then you would divide that answer by 6 um, and uh, the answer is 6.5 that way also. Okay. Um, now, on both of these two, you're going to have to get rid of the parentheses first because you have x's on both sides to equal on both of these. Uh, why don't you give those a shot, see if you can do them, and you can check back and look at my work. All right, here's my work. Um, the one on the left, I um, just balanced to get rid of the x from one side and got this equation. And then I backtracked and found the answer to 7. On this one, I actually balanced it all the way to the answer. So. I just thought you could see both ways. All right. Um, the next thing we're going to do is six point or ten point two e, and uh, in that one we're going to um, look at some equations that actually look like they're proportions. Um, and just a reminder here, let's say I'll just make a real simple proportion that you can see the answer. Uh, so 10 over 5 is 2, right? So x is 6 because 6 over 3 equals 2. Another way you can solve that, though, is you know that cross products are equal. So you could take 3 times 10, and it should equal 5 times x. Okay? So I did 3 times 10 to get this 30. And then I did 5 times x to get the other cross product. And if it is equal, now the answer is 6, so um, so you know that. So 6 times 5 is 30, and 3 times 10 is 30. So x equals 6. All right, so I'm going to use that idea. We're going to end up with an equation. <clears throat> 6x times 2, that's one cross product going this way, 
then I'm going to go this way. Make sure you use parentheses because we have to multiply 4 times the quantity x minus 6. We're going to have to get rid of those parentheses. So I get 4x minus 24. And I can just rearrange this and multiply the 6 times the 2 to get 12x there. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Get rid of the x on the right side. Now that gives me 8x equals negative 24. At this point, I know the answer is negative 3 because 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. If you didn't know that, just divide, right, if you're backtracking. So x equals negative 3. All right, uh, why don't you try example 2. Multiply these two to get one side of your equation and multiply those two to get your other. All right, here's the equations I got from the cross products. I uh, got rid of the parentheses, expanded those, got that. And I ended up with x equals 2. All right, um, go ahead and summarize what you learned here and on the other lesson. And then um, you're actually going to do two assignments today. You're going to do um, 10 D and 10E homework. All right. Good luck with that. We'll talk to you soon.